Trekking across Fiji is not just about the beautiful landscapes or the kava. It's a culinary experience unlike anything I've ever experienced. The whole village combines their efforts, from the growing of the food to the preparation of the food. Everyone then comes together and shares the meal as a group. It's a wonderful experience and something that I think we can learn from. Yes, another day. Thank you. We'll return. One of the really interesting things about trekking here in Fiji is the ability to go village to village. Last night we stayed in Sai's village here and had a beautiful time with the community. And now Etu is leading us on to his village here, uh, a handful of kilometers away. So we're going up and over the mountains and uh, gonna have a great day of trekking here in Fiji. Where's your, where's your village from here? So, see that trees over there? Uh-huh. Down below on this side. So we're not seeing it at the moment once we get ahead. Yeah. That's where we can see just where the village is. Fiji is not only far more beautiful than I had imagined, but it's a much more diverse country than I had expected, as we find ourselves out of the jungle and into a much more arid landscape. The open grasslands offer spectacular, unobstructed views. And for someone who loves mountains and canyons as much as I do, Fiji offers an incredible mix of the two. It's so hot, it feels good. Well, this is fun. We're on our ascent out of uh, the river valley, heading up to Etu's village. We're almost there, but uh, before we're actually on the boundaries of the village, we're just starting to get crushed with this rainstorm. Uh, but you know what? It, uh, it's been so hot today that why put on a rain jacket? It just feels pretty damn good to just be out here in the rain. I don't mind this at all. Welcome to my village. Your village? We're here. We're here. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Etu. Uh, so, yeah. As you put know, on the Sulus? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Despite the pouring rain, the village chief comes out to greet us and leads us to one of the village's bures to take refuge from the storm. As night settles on the village, the elders welcome me with another Sevu Sevu ceremony. By now, I'm starting to get the hang of the traditions and the ways of Fijian life. Hula. By morning, the rain has lifted, and it's another beautiful day in Fiji. We have a big day of hiking ahead of us, and so we start out with a typical communal breakfast. How do you do some I guess. <laughs> Meal times in Fiji are social times. They're lighthearted and fun, and laughter always seems to flow easily. All right, guys. Let's do it. One of the truly unique things about my trip through Fiji is that I get to trek village to village and each stretch of the trail is led by guides who grew up and live in these areas. Today, I'm on the trail with local guides Etu and Penisoni. We have only a few miles of travel before reaching the next village. But our journey will be far from over. 
as we have our sights set on hiking to the top of Mount Batilamu, which the locals say has the best overlook on the whole island. Before tackling the mountain, we make a quick stop at one of the villages. And yep, you guessed it, more kava. We share kava with the elders who graciously welcome us through. And by now, I'm really starting to get a hang of the ceremony and acquire the taste for the drink. We set out on our final mission of the day and the grand finale of our trip. It's another hot day in Fiji, and so I'm pretty happy to see that this climb offers some shade and one of the coolest misting machines imaginable. Although it's a challenging hike up Mount Batilamo to its peak of 3,500 feet, knowing that the summit marks the end of our trip in Fiji makes me appreciate every sweaty step of the way. As we approach the summit, I can't help thinking back on all the incredible places I've seen, the people I've met, and the experiences I've had on this trip. At this moment, it's hard to believe that this country is known worldwide for its beaches, coral reefs, and blue waters. But that just shows the incredible diversity of Fiji and why I know that although this trip has come to an end, it won't be long before I return to explore more of this magical place. <laughs>